Hi, this is Nick Williford and Manos Berlakis, and this is case 200 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. I am thrilled to reach this milestone of 200 cases, and I am especially thankful to our current and past CTO Chip Fellows who have been amazing in creating a lot of this content, and who are now leaders in CTO and Complex PCI in North America, Dr. Williford, Dr. Jolly, Dr. Alogaili, Dr. Alana, and Dr. Hall. This is a case illustrating some advanced techniques for using the reversed wiring technique. The patient was a young man who presented with cardiogenic shock, had a low ejection fraction of 15% with viability in the LAD and the right coronary artery territory, and he was sent for multivessel PCI after being turned down for coronary bypass. This is his coronary angiogram. We do have uh, This is the coronary angiogram on the right, showing a lesion in the mid-segment of the right coronary artery with long length. And then this is the left coronary artery, showing a severe lesion in the LAD just before the bifurcation of the LAD and the diagonal branch. And this, we can already see that uh, can be a complex one to treat because of the angulation trying to get into the diagonal after going through a very tight lesion proximal to the bifurcation. Because of the low ejection fraction, he had uh, an impella CP inserted, and then the right coronary artery was uh, successfully recanalized. But then the challenge was about the LAD, and as we mentioned before, going with a wire through this band was challenging. These are some of the solutions for wiring through tortuosity. One is to use various guide wires with different bands. The other one is to use an angulated microcaster like the Supercross. The other one is to use the reversed guide wire technique, which we will discuss more for this case. And uh, the solution number four is to use a deflection balloon to prevent the balloon, the wire from going down the vessel and taking the tight band into the angulated segment. This is the illustration of the reversed guide wire technique. The wire is advanced with a knuckle going forward, and as it comes back, it unfolds and essentially enters into that angulated branch. We cannot go very deep, and that is why we advance a microcatheter, remove the knuckled guide wire, and then advance uh, another workhorse guide wire over which the PCI is performed. We figured that would be a great case for doing the reverse guide wire because of the extreme angulation. This is an attempt with a C on black guide wire, has two bends, one is uh, more distally and one is more proximally. We'll go back and forth trying to hook the right coronary artery. And eventually the wire does get into this, but then it takes a bend going in a direction that is not desirable. And when we visualize it with contrast injection, we see that the wire went into that superior branch of the diagonal and then into another branch of this superior branch. So the challenge we have here is that the side branch bifurcates and has this superior smaller branch and the inferior bigger branch. But as the wire is coming back, it naturally wants to select the smaller, more superior branch. And part of what we will discuss in a second is how we overcame this challenge. We initially tried with different techniques. We tried with an angulated microcatheter, the shape it, from IMDS as well as the Supercross 120. But every time we did this, the wire kept on going into the superior branch. And this is what we have here. We have a wire in the superior branch, but we are unable to get a wire into that more inferior branch of the diagonal. Eventually, what we decided is to try to get a dual lumen microcatheter over the existing guide wire into the superior branch and then use that dual lumen as a means to advance another guide wire, that would be guide wire one, two, number three, into that inferior branch of the diagonal. However, the Sasuke would not go into the diagonal because there was significant lesion of the ostium. So we did predilatation with a 1.5 millimeter balloon. What we're seeing here is an example of grenadoplasty or balloon um, assisted uh, microdissection. Essentially, the balloon ruptured. 
Fortunately, it's a small 1.5 millimeter balloon, so no harm is done. We then took a Sasuke dual loop microcatheter and performed this maneuver that is done by two operators. The one operator, which is in the front, is advancing the Sasuke a little bit further every time, while the operator on the back is probing with a guide wire, and this is another Sion Black guide wire. So we're changing the position, and eventually the location of the dual lumen becomes just right, and the guide wire enters into the desired branch. So two operators, one is probing with a polymer jacketed guide wire gently, the other one is moving by a small amount, the Sasuke dual lumen microcatheter, and by doing this probing back and forth and doing small adjustments of the position of the Sasuke, eventually the Sion Black goes into the desired branch. Given the challenges we had, we decided to use a two-stand upfront technique for the bifurcation. It was so difficult to wire the diagonal that we did not want to use the provisional approach. So we did the DK crash, and uh, this is how it looks. Overall, it looks okay, but there is an area of concern in the proximal vessel. This is the intravascular ultrasound coming back from the diagonal. You can see this is about 2.5 millimeter vessel coming back. The stand looks okay. But then as we get closer to the LAD, um, and this is the bifurcation here going into the LAD, there seems to be an area where we don't have a circumferential amount of stand. So we placed an additional stand into the proximal portion of the diagonal, and that provided a nice result with Timothy flow in both of those vessels. Multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that for highly angulated vessels, wiring can be facilitated using the reversed guide wire technique. This is done with a dual lumen, Sasuke, as well as a polymer jacketed Sion Black guide wire. The issue we had here is that the desired, the desired vessel had a branch. It was a bifurcating vessel. And the wire kept on entering in that superior branch on the bifurcation. So to overcome this issue, we did use a technique with a dual lumen microcatheter, two operators advancing it over the initial wire and then trying to probe for the larger inferior branch of the diagonal until eventually another Sion Black guide wire entered into this branch. And then finally, imaging is very important to confirm that a nice result is achieved. If there is an area of poor coverage of the vessel, then sometimes another stand may have to be done. This can happen if during rewiring, the wire goes behind the stand struts, so when the kissing balloon is done, the balloon might actually push the stand struts and leave a portion of the vessel uncovered. Thank you.